Good morning, you guys. I actually just filmed this clip on my camera and I turned it around like halfway through talking to make sure it was like okay because I saw it was like at half battery and I turned it around and it was dead. So I don't know how much it got me talking, so I'm just gonna start at the beginning and do it all over again. But good morning, I hope you all are doing well. It has been a long time since I picked up the camera. Things around here have been so, so crazy. Um, like I said in the previous couple of videos, we have finally found a house and we are buying that house and turning around and selling our current house. So today is Friday, July 1st. Today we close on our new house. We already sent the money. We got everything good to go with our lender. We're poor now. Um, we got our home insurance. Everything is good to go. All we have to do today is go to the title agency and sign all the papers away saying that we own the house or the bank owns the house and we're going to pay the bank. I really don't know. Um, unfortunately, even though today we basically get the house in, in our name, we do not get possession today. Um, the sellers, the people who currently live in our new house, put in the contract that they want to stay in their house until the end of July. So today's July 1st. They want to stay until like July 31st. So even though we get the house today, we do not get possession. We have to wait until the end of the month, which stinks. Um, they are moving to Florida. I think I mentioned that before. I guess they get possession of their new place like July 26th or 27th or something like that. So they might move out like a day or two early, but not like super early like we were hoping for. So that's kind of a bummer, but that's okay. We're gonna be busy. Um, July and August are gonna be crazy anyway. We're about to go on vacation and um, I might be going on vacation to Las Vegas in a couple weeks. So we are gonna be busy anyway, but it does stink that like we get the house today, we're gonna pay for this house and then we don't even get to enjoy it for a whole nother month. But it is what it is. Same thing happened when we got this current house. Um, the people wanted to stay an extra month. We closed on like May 5th and then we didn't get to move in until it was like my birthday, June 10th. So we're totally used to it. Last time for this house, the people actually paid us to live in the house another month because the market is such a seller's market. We, they are not, these current people in our new house are not paying us to live <laughs> in our house, unfortunately, but that's okay. At least it's just a month. Um, so we had our final walkthrough yesterday. I went, I took Porter with me. Grayson is at Anthony's parents' house, so he didn't go, um, but we went through and the house looks the same. I really don't understand what this final walkthrough is supposed to be. I guess it's supposed to make sure that like people don't trash your house in between like you going contingent and like buying the house but thankfully these people are like they're very minimalist like they hardly have anything in their house anyway we have seen some very cluttered houses going around and seeing houses for i mean two years now so um yeah it's honestly i think they're hardly there i think they are traveling a lot this summer there wasn't even like toilet paper on the roll and the main floor so <laughs> i really don't think they're there that often um but yeah the house looked great they are taking they did move some of their furniture out i think they're like selling things that we didn't want we did buy a couple items from them which was super nice because we got it at a really discounted price um we got a pool table from them for like 250 dollars, which anthony is so pumped about um but yeah so some of that stuff was moved but there's still a lot of furniture left so we were hoping they'd be more packed up but then we found out they're not moving until like the 26th or 27th of july so maybe we'll get it on our anniversary maybe we'll get possession of it that would be a fun anniversary present for us we our anniversary is july 30th so we'll see but um yeah all went well we signed today we're very excited um and then we're turning around and selling this house like i mentioned so today's july 1st friday july 1st um, we close on our new house. We're turning around. We're putting this current house on the market like Thursday of next week, I think. I think that's when we're going to put it on. So less than a week to go and we put this house on the market. So we have been go, go, go for, I mean, ever since we got back from Florida, which we got back from Florida like the 19th, the 18th or the 19th of June. And we have been every night staying up until 2. Sometimes Anthony's been staying up until like 5 a.m. Um, trying to get house projects done and trying to get everything to go together. We are exhausted, absolutely exhausted. Tonight should be the last night that we stay up 
super duper late um, to get everything done because we have to be out of the house tomorrow. We have cleaning people coming tomorrow and then they're gonna take pictures of the house next week and then putting it on the, on the market. We are heading out tomorrow to go to Georgia to go visit Anthony's grandparents. They live like just south of Atlanta and we're gonna stay there for a week while all the showings and the craziness goes on. So the kids aren't here to miss, mess up the house. It stays clean, it looks nice. So it, it kind of works out that way, um, but it has been a mad dash getting things done. Anthony has taken on this huge project of redoing our master bathroom and it looks so, so good now. I'm gonna show you guys. He redid the floor and it took so much longer than we thought. And then we decided to like, it used to have wallpaper on it and then we painted over it. So we took all the wallpaper off, we re repainted it and um, just did some things here and there. So it's almost done. I just have to do a couple paint touch-ups today and then clean. So really the house is basically done. Anthony wants to paint a room downstairs. Um, and then it's really just like putting things away in staging. So that's what I've been doing this morning until I got out the camera because I wanted to show you guys because I just haven't been documenting this. So it's been a little crazy, um, but I think it'll be all good. My dad came yesterday and worked on our um, outside of the house for like oh, half a day. He put so much work into the house and it looks so, so good. He trimmed our bushes. He power washed like our front porch and our driveway and he um, like swept out our garage and power washed that. I mean, it looks awesome. Um, so we're super grateful to him. We've had so much help. My mom's been, my mom and my sister have been coming over every day and helping me clean and pack things and declutter and throw things away and purge. We've thrown so many things away and it feels good to get rid of that stuff because it's too much stuff. We need to live more minimally, I think. Um, so I've had so much help. My mom's been watching the kids for us while we've been doing all this, like going to the bank and wiring the money and doing the final walkthrough and all this other stuff. She's been so much help. So we have her watching Porter one more time while we go and do the final closing. My dad's gonna come with us to the title agency because he's very knowledgeable about all this stuff. He's bought and sold several houses. And so he's gonna help us make sure that everything is good and we're gonna sign everything. And it's just, we're gonna be done, done with that process. And then we're gonna put our house on the market and I hope, hope, hope that we get a lot of offers and a lot of activity. So please send good thoughts our way. Um, hopefully we get, a really high offer and we sell our house for a lot because we are so poor right now we threw all of our money into this new house which you should um but seeing our bank account at the height and now seeing where it is now it's a little sad <laughs> so hopefully we sell our house for a lot and um hopefully it all goes well so i'll just show you guys around what we've been doing um the house still looks kind of a mess but by Tonight, maybe I'll do another video to show you guys like a staged walkthrough of our house because that's what I'm going to do tonight. I only have Porter, like I said. Anthony's parents took Grayson. They're actually going to drive him to Georgia themselves, and then we just have Porter. So it's a little easier just with one kid rather than two. Um, and then, yeah, so I'll just show you guys around. So here's Porter. Say hi, Porter. He's watching the show. And there's Felix. Hi, Felix. Felix is actually going to go stay at my parents' house while we're in Georgia so that there's no cat in the house. Funny story, one of the houses that we went to go see and tour and walk through a couple months ago, we walked in the door and there was a cat just roaming around. Like these people had left their cat and just like let it roam around and it was so odd. I'd never had that happen before. Um, we will not be doing that with Felix. But anyway, um, this is all done. We've taken like basically everything out of this cabinet. We're actually gonna just like pitch this um, by the time we get to the new house because our new house has built-in cabinets. So don't need this anymore, we're gonna pitch it. There used to be like a little end table here. We actually moved that upstairs, but just trying to like be very minimal. Here's all of our like packing boxes. I'm just like packing last minute things in here. Grayson's potty, Felix's cat toys, our can opener. Um, we got some plants for our like, I don't know what you call this, plant window geranium. I have no idea what you call this, but we got some plants to stage and make it look good. And these are like succulents. So they only need to be watered like once a month, which is like just my speed. <laughs> so those are all there and looking good. Um, these are snacks that we're going to take on our road trip to Georgia. Um, 
This used to be just like cluttered with stuff, but we have since like just taken it all out. This is Felix's cat carrier, so that'll go, but everything's just like nice and neat. Our garage, we're obviously not gonna leave our cars in the garage, so it's just gonna look like this. Anthony's gotta clean this little stuff up, but we took most of the stuff out. Everything's just put away in cabinets and stuff. So it makes our garage look big, even though it's just like a two car garage. The dining room is almost done. We have these paintings we need to hang, but they're heavy. So I'm waiting for Anthony to help me. Um, but basically it's just, the dining room is just the table and chairs. We took out the high chair, I actually threw it away because I hated it. And then here's the front room, AKA the playroom. So we took all the toys out. We rolled up the rug. We're leaving um, this in there, the toy box, just because it's gray and it matches these gray chairs. We're gonna move these chairs and the table out into the middle and stage it. So it'll just look like a really big room. Here's how it looks from walking in. So this looks all good. Like I said, my dad trimmed our bushes. They needed it so bad. So they look so much better. And he even like, um, I don't know what you call it, but he moved the soil around so that it looks black with all of our brown pine needles, but all the bushes look so much better. Great curb appeal. My brother's gonna come mow, we just mowed, but actually the grass doesn't look like it's growing that long. It's been so hot. We got little um, hanging flower pots. We just got three of them to look nice and inviting, I don't know. Um, and then we got just like a little pot here and I borrowed my mom's wreath because mine was dying. I got one of those box wreaths and it's green and I thought the plant was fake but then like I've had it for like two or three years and now um, just this summer like it started like the green leaves started turning black so I really don't know what that's all about. Yeah I don't know what that's all about but uh, yeah so I had to throw that away and I didn't have another wreath. I mean I have other ones but they're like Christmas and winter themed so my mom literally took her wreath off her door and put it online so I have to give that back to her after the showings are done but anyway that's the main floor I'll do the um, second floor in a second and show you guys like how we did on the bathroom and stuff but um, yeah, I think it's coming along. Obviously, there's still more things I need to put away and then clean. I need to clean. Um, so that's what I'm doing today and tonight. I'll show you guys the bathroom. Okay, so here's our bathroom. Ignore the uh, step stool. Um, I have to do two paint touch-ups, so it's just in there for a second. But the floor is in. Anthony did an awesome job. It needs cleaned, obviously, but it's just like white floor. We put like gray grout in, which I think looks really cute. Put the shower doors back on, um, put the toilet back in. We got a new like toilet seat. It's like one of those where it doesn't slam, so it like shuts really slowly, so it's fancy but obviously like still need to do some cleaning <laughs> so that's what we're gonna focus on today and then yeah i have to just do some paint touch-ups here and uh i think i missed the spot like yeah right there but other than that it's pretty good to go and then we just need to like clean all this this has been like anthony's workstation so need to clean all that up i'm packing it's all crazy here but uh we're almost done we're almost there so i'm gonna keep working and putting things away and uh, cleaning and then maybe i'll film some when we go inside our house um, later today i'm so excited to finally be done with that process <laughs> 